Now that traveling is back on the cards, us at Naturescope are hoping to bring you a lot more wildlife from across the globe. I am off to the Maldives today, and so I'll be diving over there for about a week. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you some of the amazing creatures that they have underneath the ocean. Now, it is whale shark season, so hopefully I'll be able to grab a glimpse of a beautiful fish. It is the largest fish in the ocean, and I'll be able to give you a bit more information, hopefully when I get you one on camera. Also, they have manta rays over there, so amazing and majestic creatures as well. So hopefully I'll get some of those. I'll be diving aboard a liverboard. That is a ship that you dive off of, um, and so I'll be able to explain everything to do with that and how that all works and show you abroad as well. So I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope it is a really, really fantastic video showing you everything that you can see over in the Maldives. And that's about it. Just sit back, enjoy the video, and as always, welcome to Naturescope. first dive that you ever do whenever you go to somewhere new is a check dive. And a check dive allows you to get used to the environment that you're diving in. Different waters will have different salinities around the world, and that will depend on how much weight that you use. So it's really important to do these dives. That gets you used to the water that you're diving in, how many weights that you actually need. So the Maldives itself wasn't too salty, not many weights needed at all, or somewhere like the Galapagos, for example, in Hind is a lot more salty, you need a lot more weight. So there we were just descending down uh, onto the reef itself, where this wall gradually drifted down to around 60 meters or so. So this actually took place a couple more dives after the check dive. The check dive itself is not too exciting, just a reef nice and comfortable to get used to the area. The current was quite strong, you know, quite, quite hard, stick quite close together. 
I mentioned at the start about the small things that here my light is shining on a sea cucumber, a really, really important, uh, important invertebrate there, making a use of that amazing resource around it, again, helping the ecosystem function. As we're swimming here, making sure that we all stick together nice, and also just having a look at the beautiful scenery around. Water itself, the clarity, not, not incredible, but also a lot better than what we're used to over here in the UK. So, just looking out there to the top of the reef, you can see all the fish swimming around. It's very good off there, trying to pick up that colour that's lost. So, as the deeper you go, more light is lost. So, red light is the first colour to go. So, lots of different filters could be used in order to capture that beautiful scenery. So, as we're here, we're just checking everyone's airs, making sure everyone's comfortable. Still going, the guide there at the front leading us on the dive, all of us sticking together. You might be able to spot something that I've spotted and the rest of the group spotted there resting on the seabed. That is a stingray. Believe it to be a ribbon tail ray. It is just there resting on the seabed. Absolutely stunning to come across that. So all nice and calmly and gently approaching it, making sure that we don't make any startle moves or get too close at all. Don't want to disturb it, but it seems quite calm resting there on the seabed where it will then then move on to try and find some food, whether it be crustaceans hiding actually in the sandy bottom. So this was closer to around 30 meters here, so between 25 to 30 meters. So as you go on to that, that point of the dive, the dive limit depth that, that we had of 30 meters, but still comfortable in where we were diving. So as you can see, they're slowly approaching the animal, making sure that we, we stay away from their tails. They've got the barbed tail there. There's just a use of defense, they'll only use in extreme circumstances where, where they feel really threatened. So no danger whatsoever here, just trying to get the right shot with the current. Um, so you'll be able to see that one of my photos is, is coming up soon. See all the fish around it as well, completely no car, uh, no disturbing whatsoever, just nice and calm surrounding movements, making again, making sure I keep that big distance between me and the ray. So coming up with one of my photos now, and you can see when I take the photo how much difference is when I put the light back into the scenery itself. So you actually see the colours of the coral there, you've got the oranges and the blues, and the purples, it's absolutely stunning. Again, a view from the front here. Again, making sure I don't get too close to it, making sure I keep nice and steady away. And then just increasing all the air that I'm bringing into my lungs there, just slowly then drifting up so I don't disturb the sandy bottom and moving nice and with the rest of the dive. Again we're continuing here through the reef system as you can see lots of fish swimming around. You see a huge shoal of fish coming in now. Absolutely amazing to watch. All of the reef just working together with the fish nipping at the coral making all that sand that you can see below you. And yes, yes, a lot of the white sandy beaches that you uh, like to walk on is actually um, digested coral that fish have eaten. So here we've got a large, beautiful trigger fish here. Again, you can see those colors popping there, the different ways in which there is. So we're switching on to a different dive now. This dive was actually a lot deeper. This was around 30 meters there. That's the channel mouth. So diving a lot of channel mouse here. Again, you can see the color there, my throat picking up a lot of the debris in the water. So this channel mouth is where the current's actually pushing in and bringing all of these animals in. The current bringing the nutrients, which feeds the smaller animals, and those smaller animals then feed bigger animals. So here we've got some eagle rays, beautiful, beautiful eagle rays swimming past. And as we come along here, and just see all the smaller fish there sticking close to the reef for protection. Now we're actually under an overhang here, just, just there, so the current itself isn't so bad. There's a good shot there of the, uh, the smaller fish swimming around. We're absolutely surrounded by fish. We've got some jacks coming in here as well, and they'll be after the smaller fish here. Large shoal coming in, making sure that lots of 
food is available for them and you can see the current itself is quite strong these powerful fish are working quite hard and <laughs> myself is working quite hard you can see large different movements in the fish the sporadic movements again just showing that hunting behavior in this, in this current the jacks coming into these smaller fish here and the smaller fish darting away in order to get away from the current. good shot here of the jacks swimming through again just showing this is, this is their behavior, they're not bothered by me, I'm keeping nice and calm away from them, allowing them to come to me as me instead of me going to them. Just elaborating on how we can actually work in this environment, you don't have to chase the animals. If you're nice and calm, nice and collected, that, that yourself will be a perfect way to see these beautiful animals working as naturally as they would. So, just watching these now you can then uh, see some sort of pipe fish or trumpet fish swimming through the links there as well. So we swing round and follow up the reef itself. It's overhang is quite protected here, there's not much current down here, but constantly keeping an eye on my dive computer, making sure that I stay close to my limits. We were using nitrox, so nitrox is a different mixture to your normal air. So normal air that we breathe is 21% oxygen, 79% nitrogen, whereas the nitrox there, we're increasing the amount of oxygen that we have, which allows us to stay at depths for longer, so we're not taking in that much nitrogen. However, because of how oxygen works, we are limited to depth. We're still limited to a certain period of time at that depth. But as you can see, the shoals of fish, the smaller fish sticking to the reef, keeping nice and calm. You can see how beautiful it is. You can see the peaks of the sun coming through there. And we're at 30 meters, around 30 meters, 26 to 30 meters. You can actually see the sunlight. It's just incredible how, how different places around the world are, different nutrients and different ways in which the sea goes that allows the different ways of penetration to come through. See the reef here, we're swimming along the reef now, making sure we all stick together. See how hard we're actually having to fight the current here. There's another thing again, is, is, with diving it's, it's about taking your time, enjoying the dive, don't fight so hard. Then you actually see us go up onto the reef itself to watch the show over the channel. We actually hook in, so we've got these reef hooks. So we don't actually hook into the coral itself, we're hooking into holes in the rock, making sure there's nothing in there, tapping it slightly, making sure nothing comes out, nothing's being spooked, so that we can then hook in, inflate our BCDs, and then we just essentially drift in the, you can see a, a white tip blue shark there, so we're resting, I must have missed that, uh, and so we're all swimming up. You might be able to hear some beeping going along, not to worry, that's just my computer telling me that it's time for me to come a little bit shallower. And so that's what we're doing, we're coming up onto the reef now. You can see again, now you can see that the colour itself is, is quite greeny. And that's because um, I didn't have my, my filter on my GoPro at this point. You can see some people hooked in here. And so the different colours will change. But again, as, as I take those photos, you will see as I put light back into it, see how much of that actually changes. So the water itself wasn't this green. It was a lot bluer, but as I said, as the light, as we get deeper, that starts taking away all the different colors. So you see a lot more people hooking in here. So again, but distracted there as I was always talking, as you hook in, you are hooking into the rock itself. So the rock is your stable point. You then inflate your BCD, and that hooks you to a couple of meters or so above the reef itself, and then you're just drifting in the current. You're not going anywhere, that hook's holding you in place. As you can see there, there's some other divers that are hooked in there. You're making sure you're hooking into rock and not any of the coral. This coral takes a long time to grow. And it's very fragile, very delicate, it provides a lot of homes, provides foods for different fish. 
different vertebrates. And so it's really important that you try not to damage that. So I'm just drifting, again, swimming over all of these corals here. You can spot some rocks and shoulder fish swims past me here. I'm constantly looking for a great place to hook in to watch the show. You see the dive guide is telling me line up here so we're all in a line. That's another important thing, hooking in so we're all in a line. No one's in front of each other. And by going in front of each other, you actually have an issue because you're creating that different distance. And some animals, or sharks for example, like you to stay close to the reef and they'll, they'll pass by, they don't like it if uh, one person is in front of you as opposed to that. And so the only the person in front will get to see what's going on. So you can see all the fish here swimming in and out of the current as the predators move by. I'm just, just hooking in now, making sure, taking my time, making sure that I'm not disturbing anything as I do so. See all of those fish there, it's absolutely stunning. You can see what current actually does. It brings in so much nutrients. You can see all the sharks here. So here we have got grey reef sharks, white tip reef sharks, jacks, just amazing. They're just drifting there. Again, staying away from them. It's up to them if they want to come close. We know there is a white tip reef shark that's about to come close in a second. There you go, dude. Here you go. That was up to the shark there. I didn't swim, I was in one spot. So I will leave you here with this amazing white tip reef shark swimming past me for this video. Stay tuned, there is going to be a second part, so keep an eye out and there may be some bigger stuff that I'm going to show you. But once again, thanks for watching, this has been Nature's Go.